Hey guys, how's it going? This is Crusader. In today's video, I am going to be showing you guys uh, what classes I use for League Play. I know some people out there are still wondering what are the best classes to use on League Play. And today, I am willing to show you guys what classes I prefer using, what classes work for me, what classes I like to use, and, well, pretty much what I do for certain game modes. Different game modes require different classes and different perks and different score streaks. So while I show you guys the classes that I use, I will be telling you guys which class I use for which game mode and what score streaks I use. At the end, I'll be showing you guys what score streaks I use for different games. And yeah, guys, so to get started, this is a new season league. The new season just started. I am already a level 52. I believe I have not lost one league play game yet ever since I started before I was ranked. So I want all five of the rank pre the pre rank uh games and I did in fact already win the three games I believe yeah three so I have won exactly eight games so far so let's get started with the classes shall we the first class I will be showing you guys today is gonna be the MP7 now MP7 I use long barrel and quick draw with it this class setup which my perks are going to be lightweight, toughness, dexterity, extreme conditioning, and two concussion. This would be a capture the flag setup. The reason this would be a capture the flag is one, you have concussion grenades, so that if you're chasing the person with the flag, you could easily throw a concussion grenade. Or if you have someone chasing you and you're about to cross into a, a building, you could easily throw a concussion behind you, which will concussion them, giving you an advantage to run away from the, your enemy. So, the two perks right here, Dexterity and Extreme Conditioning, are a key point for Capture a Flag. Especially if you're going to be use, playing, for example, if you're the runner, the person that is going to go into the enemy's territory and get the flag. This, ex you desperately need Extreme Conditioning. You always want to use Toughness so that if you are in the middle of a gunfight, you could, you do have an advantage and you will most likely win the fight if you... If the other person does not have toughness, most of the time it'll work out. So, if this was a hard point, this would be the same class setup. This is the class setup I use for hard point and for CTF. My other class for CTF maybe would be the EMP grenade. I'm getting invited by my Echo friends right now, so that'll have to wait. The, the video is more important right now. So, that's class one. For if it was uh, before I start to the next class if it was a search and destroy i would change extreme conditioning to dead silence for search but for now since hardpoint and ctf are the key game modes the this is the class setup i would use for the perks my second class setup which is also an smg class is the msmc with long barrel and quick draw i desperately I desperately suggest you use these two attachments because long barrel allows you gives you a little more damage on the gun and allows you to win those far range gun fights if you have a good sensitivity, good aim, and if you know what you're doing. The perks for this would be exactly the same. Right now I'm running EMP grenades instead of concussion because if I do need to switch to hard point and I don't have enough time to switch my MP7 concussion grenades, I would just use the MSMC. But M the MSMC has been working for me so good ever since the season start. I've been dropping 30 bombs with it. I've been doing amazing with it. So that's per that's the second class I use. Once again, if it was um, if it was search and destroy, I would change extreme conditioning to dead silence. But getting on. To the third class. This is one of the most important classes I would say in league play. It is in fact the MAA1. I use it with red dot, adjust stock, and quick draw. I sometimes switch quick draw to foregrip. Foregrip does give me a little better accuracy on my opinion. Everybody has their own opinion. You might say quick draw is better, but I like using uh, foregrip sometimes. But right now it's on quick draw. So I desperately suggest to using red dot the reason i use red dot is because it i feel like it's a better aim 
Like it gives you a better aim on far enemies. And I just like this gun a lot. And stock really helps you out, especially since you're an AR and while you're aiming, you can't really, you don't have a lot of momentum. So I desperately suggest using stock, especially on an AR. My perks would be almost the same as the two previous classes, which is the MSMC and the MP7. The first two class, the t first two perks, I always use lightweight and toughness. These two perks are key. I like using them, and I enjoy using them. So right now, I do have a dead. I do have dead silences perk three. This would be kind of um, I would say kind of a search and destroy class. But for a search, I would use this exact setup right now. This is the best setup for search. A grenade, a trophy system, dead silence, toughness, lightweight, red dot, adjust dot, quick draw on the M8. This is the perfect search and store class. The grenade allows you to throw a grenade into enemy territory, especially on meltdown. When you go into the cove, you can easily throw a grenade through the top of the, the spikes on the cove. And you can probably get a hit marker, which will allow you will let you know that there's an enemy there or you could throw it somewhere else where you know there's an enemy and have the chance of killing him instead of just going in there and risking your life so on search and destroy I do suggest using a grenade and a trophy system especially because when you're in the let's say the bomb already got planted and you have a trophy system down if they throw an EMP grenade or a concussion grenade they and the, the trophy system destroys it they don't know where you're at but if it hits you, then they know where you're at. So I suggest using a trophy system. I do use Dead Silence for Search and Destroy, as I said. But if it was Hardpoint or CTF, I would use Dexterity. So let's just leave that on right now. Oh, and since I play Anchor in most of the Hardpoint games, I do use two trophy systems. That's why the two trophies were already there. But yeah, let's get on to Custom Class 4. On custom class 4, you can see that I'm using the AN-94. The AN-94, I believe, is a really good gun. I'm sorry about that squeaky noise. I still haven't changed my chair. But getting back to the video, I use Red Dot, Quick Draw, and Stock. The same thing I run for the M8, as you guys can tell right there. Does the Stock and the Quick Draw in different places. But this is the key setup attachments for an AR, especially the AN-94 and the M8. So on this class, I'm running lightweight, toughness, and dexterity. I usually don't run an AN on search, so I usually leave these per this class like it is. I have one Centex and an EMP grenade. So this is like, I would say, a CTF if you're playing a little defensive mid. In CTF, I would never recommend having one person in the very back of the flag because it gives you a disadvantage. Like, if they're all running mid players, and they have one guy that will go in and catch a flag. That one guy in the back could be a key player and take out two of the guys, giving you a four on two. So I would never recommend having one person in the very back of the flag. It usually never works. So this is the key setup for the AN-94. So let's get to class five. Custom class five, this is a search and destroy class. I have the DSR-50 with dual band scope. My secondary is, in fact, the MSMC with quick draw. I am using overkill. I like this setup because on search, especially on raid, there are a lot of sniping spots that you could be on. And this is a really good class setup for search and destroy on raid and meltdown as well. You just need to know exactly where to go. The perks will be lightweight toughness. As I said, I love using these two perks. These two perks are my main perks. I always have these on every class I run. And my perk three is gonna be dexterity. On the on a search class, I know most people run dead sounds, but on this specific class, I like using dexterity because it allows me to put up my sniper quicker and allows me to put up my MSMC quicker. I'm running two concussions. This one very you could do anything on these three. Doesn't really matter, but yeah, this is like the class setup. But if, don't get me wrong, I do use a shotgun sometimes. So let me show you guys really quick what my shotgun class would be. Give me a sec. This is my shotgun class, especially on, what's it called? I forgot what it's called. On hardcore, no, on hardpoint, 
Standoff and Harpoint Yemen. This is the shotgun class right here for you guys. The Remington with long barrel and laser sight, two concussion grenades, or you could put on trophy systems. It's your choice. Perk 3 is going to be Dexterity and Extreme Conditioning, Toughness and Lightweight. This would be a shotgun class for you guys. This is a really good shotgun class. And as you guys can tell, I do not like running a secondary because there really isn't a point on running a secondary gun because all I do is run up to a dead body and pick up their gun. So there really isn't a reason for me to run a secondary gun. So these are my league play classes that I use. The custom 5 does change depending on the map and game mode. It would either be the sniper or the shotgun. So this is the main league play classes that I use. So let's get to score streaks. On search and destroy, this would be the score streaks right here. An arc CXD, a hellstorm, and a lightning. These are the key three search and destroy custom class. Oh my god, my bad. These are the kill streaks you want to use for search and destroy. These three right here. For a CTF, on the other hand, you could I would run Sentry, Lightning, and Hellstorm. But if you're running a Sentry, make sure you have a trophy system class or one of your teammates has a trophy system class. If not, it's easily destroyed. So these would be CTF. You could change the Sentry to a Death Machine or War Machine. But I usually run on Hardpoint this right here. Hellstorm, Lightning, and Death Machine. Some maps do change. For example, on Standoff, on Hardpoint, the, these would be the three. But on CTF, I always run these three. These are the best CTF score streaks we could use. But on Hardpoint, I do sometimes use Sentry or I use Death Machine. Either of these these four. So these are my this is my full league play class setup, guys. I hope you enjoy. I am trying to get better. Look at that sexy ass album right there. Those freaking aliens, yeah. You guys wish you had that album, but <laughs> that is my league play class setup, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you can, and please leave a comment. This is Crusader, and just before I leave, I do want to let you guys know that I am working on a video on showing you guys how to improve your reaction time and your accuracy. So that video will be coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please leave a like, comment on my videos, go watch my previous videos. I would greatly appreciate it. I am close to 750 views. Your special video will be coming as soon as I hit the 750 views view goal. So once again, guys, thank you so much. This is Crusader. This is my league play classes, and I'm out.